Boys and girls, what's going on? My name is Kirby. Welcome back to episode two of The Pattern, a series where I break down tracks, give master classes, and all things production for myself. This episode, we're going to take a look at my track Breathe, which was released on Monster Cat very, very recently, approximately five days ago or something. <laughs> Right here we have the wonderful project, the messy project of Breathe. This is the radio edit and then we have the extended right here. This is going to be impossible to break down and make it easy to explain with a project looking like this. So because of this, I'm going to skip to the clean project. Anyway, here we go. So this is the project in all of its organized glory. So this track here is a little bit different to what I usually do. This is more, this is more of a, a melodic sound, super melodic in fact. It's more in the progressive house direction, but it's not progressive house, this is more raw. I wanted to make something which I could play at festivals and uh, something which was gonna impact in, in more of a, a feeling way, rather than a bass face way, if you get what I mean. So we are gonna start off by looking at how did I start this track? I started with the chords. Usually I start with the vocal, but this time around I started with the chords. Here we have the chords. I started with this. These chords have a very dreamy feel, which I really liked. Specifically this sound. So we're gonna go, I think this is the silent. Yeah, this is a, a pad from silent. But if I take off all of the effects, Still very, very dreamy. What I've done is added a phaser, which gives it the really, uh, the, the moving feel. We got some EQ, more EQ, more EQ, a little filter. And that is the first sound of the track. So let's start off by looking at the break. I had these chords and whenever I have some nice chords, I want a nice vocal to go along with it. So I recorded this vocal over here. So here we go. This is a vocal that I recorded. Effects, let's smack everything on. So it's really a little altar boy which is actually saving me, you know, pitching myself 12 semitones up and then turning the foreman down a little bit to bring my voice back to the uh, more realistic sounding, I suppose. Some EQ, got sound goodizer, bit of OTT, a lot of compression basically. We've got some chorus to make it move a little bit more, give it some width as well. Taking out some harsh frequencies here. So then we have that. <laughs> And I exported it, consolidated it again. More effects on there, some echo. Echo boy and uh, taking out some unwanted frequencies again. So there we go, we have the vocal, we got a little reverse effect here. And then in combination with the pads, you can hear it in the background, I filtered it out. So I thought that fit really nicely. Anyway, back to the pads again. Super dreamy feel, but I wanted to give it a trippy edge as well. So I've used Tremolator, and you will see within this project, I use Tremolator on almost everything. Take away the Tremolator. Tremolo. Gotta love it. Go back down to the automations, and we can see that we are automating the cutoff, or uh, the filter for the pad. And then we go into the second part of the break, slash the bridge. All I've done here is I have added a little bass sound. We have some atmospheric sounds here. We got a little impact here. We got some claps here. Some very loud claps. And actually, let's take away the pads right here. We got a little amen break thingy. OTT and a gate. This gate brings out the uh, the transients, which I like. Makes it more snappy, poppy. And then I have this little impact effect going in on each kick. To is more of a sucking effect. So I bring back in the uh, the pads and everything again. 
what I've done with the pad on this section here is I've automated the, uh, the filter. This actually kind of acts as a side chain. Uh, that is pretty much it for that section and then we move on to one of my favorite sections of the track very euphoric moment right here uh, I consolidated this I can play it to you now So what I did we have the chords We have the chords here and this is just uh, a lot of silent three sets layered Layering, layering, layering. But the, mo the most important part out of all of this is once again the effects. Let's take away all of the effects and see what we're left with. How boring is that? <laughs> it's not boring, but uh, we can make it more, more fun and pleasing to listen to by doing certain things, i.e. these small effects here, tremolator, makes it a little bit more jumpy. Okay, that sounds terrible. Tremolator back on there, saves the day. Go for the second one as well. Second chord batch. Together we have this. So we just got Tremolator on there, we got a lot of compression and distortion and EQ. The same chain as the, the pads. And then the second, yeah, compression. You just have to use your ears the whole time to see what sounds good. Always trust your ears. I'm all about ears. Less visual and more ears. So there we have all the chords. And then the synth melody. And then this is the, the synth. Kind of the same once again, yeah. Now that sounds bad. <laughs> Add all of these effects, play with it and you combine everything, all of those small things. Actually, wait, hold on, we also have a mid bass, which I forgot. Yes, all of these sounds. Take away this. Well, for the mid bass, we have a pretty disgusting looking EQ right here, but uh, it doesn't sound disgusting, it sounds, it works. So we have all of these. I combined them together and then consolidated it so I could play with it a little bit more. I.e. for now, this was just EQ, so I was taking out the low end because I didn't want to bring everything in immediately. And there we have everything combined together. We have drums coming back in here. Once again, consolidating. So I would have originally used the one shot itself, the one shot hi-hat, and put that out onto the playlist, and then consolidated it. So then I could do my thing with it. Automated the, the panning over here using an LFO, which you can see right here. Okay, so now moving on to the build-up. We are taking away elements, which we originally had here. So now it comes in less extreme with the, with the synths and chords. I've taken it out, I've just got the chords here. And then, and we have risers starting to come in. We've got snares here. Bit of OTT on the snares. Little kick here, shout out to Quicks. So then we, we are looping over here. We are looping this wonderful acapella. And then I brought the vocal back in here. Looping, looping, looping. If I take away this vocal, build up becomes a little bit more dry. Yeah, you need the vocal in there. And now we move on to the drop. So for this drop, I wanted to go in full hard, but I didn't want to change too much. I still wanted the same vibe, the same sounds in there, just enhanced. So for that, I just enhanced already what we had. As you can see here, if you guys know this, great if you don't know this, but uh, this section here, de-clicking mode, this will save your life. If I take this off now, you're gonna get awful clicks coming from here after each sample. Fades it out a little bit and you need that. So we have, we have this one over here. These are the layers, these are the layers. Subtle layers, take that out. We, and then we have the main, 
This is another cut up version of, of all of the synths and chords over here. Yes, EQ differently, there we go. Taking away some of the harsh frequencies there. Plain old simple EQ. Another layer, which is now the bass line. And then we have the sub. This is massive, massive, massive. There we go, we have the sub. So let's put all of the synths and everything together now. And we have this. Pretty solid. But what is going to fix this? What is going to enhance this? Is going to be the extra things. It's going to be the drums. We need some hard hitting drums and some stuff to enhance everything. The drums for the drop are as follows. Yeah, we have a lot of layering. We have a lot of laying for the drums, as always. Like I said in my previous episode, multiple clap layers over here. These are my kicks. This is actually the flip it kick, I believe. It's gonna be a little bit of EQ on there. Bit of mid-side EQ over here. And then we have a layer here. If we remove this sound over here, it doesn't give it that bite, which I like. With that extra bit of grit in this sample really helps push the kick to the front even more. That's what changes this track. If you take away this kick over here and put a normal EDM kick in there, yeah, it's not gonna be the same. Layer your samples. I think that's the moral of today's, uh, today's episode is layer your samples. Try and enhance what you already have. Don't add too many other elements. Keep what you already have and just try to enhance that. So that was the first part of the track. We're gonna move on to the second break. Second break is very similar to first as well. We just have this pluck here, which is playing the melody, but with less notes. That is another sign of the preset, I believe. Don't be afraid to use presets. I, I try to avoid it sometimes, but um, if you're layering and changing the sounds and manipulating the sounds, it's fine. It's not a problem. Impacts. Claps coming in, which are filtered. And then going back in to this section over here. Add a little bass, a little 808, which sounds horrible, but uh, combined with the other sounds, sounds great. And then going back into the next bridge section, instead of going full out like I did here, I wanted to break the energy down a little bit because I knew that I could bring back the energy through the build and then into the second drop. So instead I've got some filtered chords, the filtered chords, filtered lead as well. Combine that together with the vocal and this extra little sample here. And what I like about this section as well, we have the vocal, everything is toned down a little bit. But as this vocal ends over here, you can hear the synth coming back in almost immediately, but still very tame. And here we go. This is how we build the energy again by looping, looping, looping the vocal over. If we remove the loop of the vocal over here, the energy will not persist as much as it would. Yeah. Yeah, you need that, you need the vocal in there, you need it looping. Same again, same stuff back in here. There's everything together. More looping. Let me come back in. And then again, 40 second drop is pretty much like the first drop. We've just added, uh, we've brought all of the hats in. All of the hats come directly and otherwise it's pretty much the same as the first drop. Also what I did was I added my vocal cut. If I take this away now. Same as the first drop. But the second drop is more full because I had this little cut in here. So that just plays throughout and this is good because it has a lot of mid frequencies in there which is actually missing in the drop from the main leads there is not not much mid there is there aren't many mid frequencies playing as opposed to what is in this vocal i like the frequencies in here so combining that really gives you the full package for the second drop it's like the finale you know 
drums. Yeah. And then back again. And then going out into the outro. Yeah. You can see all of the elements right there. I'm not going to say simple today, I'm going to say basic. Yeah. And then we fade it out with the vocal. And guys, that is that's pretty much the song. Or like I said from before, the moral of today's episode or, or for this track down specifically is the fact that you don't really need so many elements. You need the main elements and then to enhance them throughout. For other songs, I like to add different elements throughout the song to keep it interesting. But sometimes you don't need to. And specifically, I think with this song, this is a prime example that you don't need so many elements. So guys, thank you once again for watching the second episode of The Pattern. This is all new for me, so I apologize if things aren't as clear as I can explain them or I am missing some things. Let me know in the comments. But like I say, this is a new adventure for me. So I'm going to learn a lot and I think I will progress and, and, and get better explaining. So thank you guys once again. Shout out to Monster Cat for releasing this song and shout out to you guys for streaming it already and playing it. Super excited to play this one out at future shows and uh, adios. Get